what's up guys and welcome to this very short video so recently i've been asked about the solid sphere mesh i've been asked two questions the first question is what is the relation between the density and how does it work so this density actually decides the number of the elements in the square base so as you can see to generate this uh, spheres the ls prepos generates a solid cube and from there it deforms the elements until it become a sphere so if the number is 11 you will find 11 elements here and if the number is uh, let's say this is 5 when I mesh this I put here 5 so you can see here I have 5 and here I have 6 here I have 7 and here I have 8 and so on this one I have 20 so from here until here 10 and from here until here 10 so how this thing is useful uh, this is useful when you want to do a quarter or a half model because you need to delete the elements through the half plane so if you have an odd number of elements here it will be difficult for you to delete them and uh, the second question is what is the relation between this uh, density and the number of elements so the relation is simple the total number of the solid elements will be equal to this number of density cubed and multiplied by 7 so if this is x it will be x cubed multiplied by 7 again it will be x cubed multiplied by 7 how did i find that first i mesh all of these then i count the elements of each one of them and i put them in excel so this is the density and this is the number of elements okay so because this is a solid and in the middle we have a cube so i take the this one and i cube them i take the density and i cube them and i got this number then i found out that if i divided the total number of the elements by this value it we will get seven so the relation will be here which is cube multiplied by seven and here is the equation i plot with excel and you can see this is using the trend line function you can see seven x and here because i put the power of the a curve fitting to be 3 so it have to have x square and x and also a term without x that's how the excel works but you can see this is a very small number and this is also a very small number so that's all for this tutorial thank you very much and see you next time bye bye